Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about unit 2 from the computer application. Under this, we have to consider data types and data presentation. Uh, data types and data presentation which comes under what statistics. Now what is actually statistics? The word statistics derived from the Italian word statista or the Greek word statistica. Statistics is nothing but the branch of science where we learn the various methods of collection of data processing of data or analysis of data and after analysis we have to interpret the result. Now what is actually data? Data is nothing but it is a collection of facts such as numbers, words, measurements, observation or even just the description of things. Now there are different categories of data. Under the data categories first qualitative and second one is quantitative. So what is actually qualitative data? Qualitative is nothing but the descriptive information, while quantitative is nothing but the numerical information. Under the qualitative, again there are two categories, nominal data and ordinal data. And under quantitative, again there are two categories, discrete data which we can count and continuous data which we can measure. Now, see nominal data. So, nominal values represent discrete units and are used to label the variables that have no quantitative value. This is the main thing about the nominal data. It comes under qualitative data type. Nominal data that has no order. Now for example, here the question is what is your gender? The answer may be male or female. So here we are using male or female. This is for labeling. So, what is your gender? This is again qualitative type and male or female again it is qualitative type. So, nominal data comes under qualitative. Next, ordinal data. So, ordinal values represent discrete and order units. So, here ordering is very important in case of ordinal data. So, under this there is one example. Question is what is your educational background? So, educational background may be elementary, may be graduate, may be postgraduate. So, here ordering matters. First is elementary, after that graduate, after that postgraduate. Here the difference between elementary and this graduate, postgraduate, it is different than the difference between high school and college. So, this is the main limitation of ordinal data. The difference between the value is not really known. Because of that, ordinal scales are usually used to measure non-numeric features like happiness, customer satisfaction and so on. Next is interval data. Interval scales are the numerical scales in which we know both the order and the exact differences between the values. Here under this there is one example. An interval scale is the Celsius temperature because the difference between each value is the same. For example, difference between 60 and 50 degree is measurable. That is nothing but the 10 degree and which is same as the difference between 80 and 70 degree. So, this is nothing but the interval data. Now, next is ratio. Ratio data, it has the ability to calculate the ratio. For example, here the following device, it provides what? Ratio between height and weight. Now, next quantitative data. Under that, first we have to consider what is actually variable. So, variable is nothing but a quantity which can vary from one individual to another. Now, for example, here marks, runs, height, weight, ages, rainfall, it comes under what? Variable. So, here marks may be different, different for the different, different students. Now, under this, there are different types of variable. Discrete variable, so discrete variable and continuous variable. Discrete variables are countable in a finite amount of time. For example, we can count the change in your pocket or we can count the money in your bank account. So, this is nothing but a discrete. Now, continuous variable. It take forever to count. So, here for example, we cannot count age because age can be 25 years, 10 months, 2 days, 5 hours, 4 seconds, 4 milliseconds, 8 nanoseconds and 99 picoseconds and so on. So, it comes under what? Continuous variable. Next is for data presentation. So, previously we have seen about what is data, 
then categories of data after that we have to present the data so for that first we need frequency distribution so what is actually frequency frequency is the number of times the given the variable occurs in a data is called frequency of the variable and is denoted by what f for that we can construct frequency table so how we can con construct the frequency table in frequency table we can construct it by arranging the collected data values in ascending order of magnitude with their corresponding frequencies so here in the first column values of data items are there second one is tally mark and third one is frequency so tally mark is it is representation for this value now frequency distribution is of again two types discrete frequency distribution and continuous frequency distribution now what is actually discrete frequency distribution in a discrete frequency distribution the values of the variable are determined individually the number of times each value occurs it denotes the frequencies of the particular value or observation so see this example here the marks are given which is of 20 students so we have to present this information in a frequency table so how you can present see here to construct the frequency table first we will proceed as follows construct a table with the three columns first column it shows what data data items so here data items are nothing but the marks so we have to arrange this in ascending order 4 5 6 7 and so on now tally marks for representation of data and frequency for repetition of this data items now start with the four from your list of data items so first value is four okay now see next go through the list of marks the first marks in the list is six now put a tally marks again the six in the second column so here put tally marks for the six next second mark in the list is seven so put a tally marks again seven so here there is one tally now third mark in the list is five so put a tally mark against five in the third column now we continue this process until all the marks all these marks in the list are tallied now step 3 count the number of tally marks for each mark and write it in third column see here the finished frequency table is given as follow here, here see two tally marks for the four two tally marks for the five six for the six four tally marks are there so we will write the frequency as two for this same it is two for this here there are four so frequency is four so in this way we can construct a frequency table so these are the steps to construct a frequency table so first step is what construct a table with the three columns first column write down all the data value in ascending order this is very important now to complete the second column go through the list of data values and place one tally mark at the appropriate place in the second column for every data value when the fifth tally is reach for a mark draw a horizontal line through the first four tally marks as shown for the seven in the above frequency table in the previous frequency table we continue this process until all data value in the list are tallied now step 3 is what count the number of tally marks for each data value and write it in third column as a frequency now see this example consider the marks scored by 30 students so here data items are given now we have to construct a frequency table for this so here marks are given in ascending order start from 0 see the 0 is the starting point and up to what 10 so last is here 10 now put it tally marks over here so first for the 0 see the 0 is repeated only one time so there is one tally for the 1 here again there is one so here tally is one for the 2 again there is single tally see for the 3 here there are 3 here there are two times repetition of this thing so it is 2 and frequency also 2 so see for the 4 here 1 then second one then third one so here four occurs three times so three tallies are there so frequency is 3 so in this way we will construct the frequency table now calculate the total frequency for this column it is equal to 30 and which is correct because these are the marks scored by 30 students so this is about what how to construct a frequency table